Hey, what's up everyone, and uh, mm, sorry, I just woke up, uh, it's really late and I just woke up, uh, I had a long night yesterday, I had to do a lot of work and stuff, so I just woke up, and of course today is the big day for the Oscars, as you can tell, the Oscars nominees, just, I mean the Oscars just announced their nominees, and as you can tell here, uh, Birdman, the Grand Budapest Hotel led the pack, but I have not seen any of the nominees, so I, I've, I've steered clear of it for the last, like, hour, and I was just like, okay, let's do this, I'm still tired, by the way, <laughs> I've been up for, like, an hour, I'm still tired, but, um, <clears throat> but, uh, whew. but, uh, I'm here to talk about the nominees, I heard there's a lot of snubs, which sucks, I heard one in particular, I actually heard one, that actually kind of makes me mad, but, well, let's look at them anyway. And let's go to the nominees. I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look at this. This is spoiling stuff. But anyway, best actor. Okay. Nominees for best actor are Steve Carell, Foxcatcher. Okay. Bradley Cooper, American Sniper. Okay, I haven't seen it yet. Um, I heard he's really good though. Uh, Better to Cumberbatch, The Imitation Game. Michael Keaton, Birdman, and Eddie Redmayne, The Theory of Everything. Now, I heard that. This is the one I'm uh, I'm actually mad at, so it's good that it starts it off with this. But David Oye Oyeloa, I think that's how you say his name, didn't get nominated playing Dr. Martin Luther King for Selma, which kind of sucks. Now I actually heard a lot of people say it. <clears throat> a lot of people saying, "Oh, the Oscars are so white." Duh. But to be fair, I mean, last year. Oh, wait, hold on, something just popped up. Uh, to be fair, last year the Best Picture winner was Twelve Years a Slave. Which is a movie about how shitty white people are. So, to be fair, you know, c I mean, come on. That won Best Picture and won, like, two or three other awards. So, let's hold up. But still, I would have liked to see him nominated. They have, like, ten nominees for Best Picture. They could have put another nominee for Best Actor. It's been a good year. So, come on. All right, Best Actress. You got, uh, you got Marianne Cotillard for Two Days, One Night. I heard... That was great. Felicity Jones, The Theory of Everything. By the way, I did see The Theory of Everything. I didn't review it, but both Eddie Redmayne and Felicity Jones were both excellent in that. But for me, best actor best actor should go to Benedict Cumberbatch because I saw The Imitation Game, and he was the reason why I absolutely loved that film. I, I didn't review that either, but that's one of my favorite films of last year. Great movie. Highly recommended. Okay, so anyway, best actress. Uh, Marion Cotillard, Felicity Jones, Julianne Moore for Still Alice, Rosamund Pike for Gone Girl, and Reese Witherspoon for Wild. Hmm, huh. trying to think of a snubs there. Uh, no, maybe maybe a Amy Adams for Big Eyes, but you know what? She was good, but I think everybody here is better. Now, to be fair, I haven't seen Wild yet. I haven't seen Still Alice. I haven't seen Two Days One Night, so. <laughs> I guess I don't know. <laughs> I'm just talking down my ass. But Felicity Jones, uh, I mean, Theory of Everything and Gone Girl, I've seen both those perform performances were great. But uh, who I think will win this? I really think Julianne Moore because she's been getting a lot of a lot of uh, positive uh, feedback about her performance. Uh, I heard her performance is the main reason to see the film. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's who I think. And uh, like I said, Amy Adams got snubbed. Best Supporting Actor, Robert Duvall for The Judge, which I don't understand that. I mean, uh, I, I didn't hear one word of him being great in that movie. I just heard, yeah, I mean, he's good. But, I mean, yeah, he is great, but he's not, like, nomination-worthy, but I guess he is. So, The Judge is officially a nominated Oscar movie. Uh, Ethan Hawke, Boyhood, Edward Norton, Birdman. Mark Ruffalo, Foxcatcher, which I'm glad he's on there. Uh, and J.K. Simmons, Whiplash, which I have yet to see, but I really do. Uh, Boyhood and Burn May, I still need to see. And Whiplash hopefully comes out on DVD soon. Um, me, I think I think J.K. Simmons will win this. Uh, Runner-up, like if J.K. Wim uh, Simmons doesn't... <laughs> J.K. Women's. If J.K. Women's doesn't win. No, J.K. Simmons doesn't win, uh, I hope... Uh, I heard Edward Norton's great, but I hope Mark Ruffalo, because I thought he was fantastic. Fantastic. And Foxcatcher. So, that's good. Any snubs here? I can't think of any. There probably is. Maybe I'll, I'll look at my article for the top snubs. 
All right, but anyway, best supporting actress Patricia Arquette for Boyhood. Even though she wouldn't she be best support? I mean, best lead actress because she is the. Well, I guess the boy is the main character. Never mind. Yeah, obviously it's Boyhood. Uh, <laughs> Patricia Arquette, Boyhood. Laura Dern for Wild. Didn't hear anything about her performance. Karen Knightley for The Imitation Game, Emma Stone for Birdman, and Meryl Streep for Into the Woods? Mm, and Emma Stone for Birdman. I haven't heard anything about her performance being, like, Oscar-worthy either. I'm, I'm trying to think. I think they snubbed something obvious. But I can't think of it right now, so we'll just go on. For me, I think the winner will be... Uh, I'm going to say Patricia Arquette because she won at the Golden Globes and she is supposedly really good in that movie. And, you know, Keira Knightley was great in Imitation Game, but that was really Benedict Cumberbatch's movie. Uh, Meryl Streep was good, but why? Because it's Meryl Streep, she just needs to have a nomination. She, If she wins, oh, man, Oscars is biased as fuck. There's no way she should win. I mean, she was a good singer. She did the Crazy Witch pretty decently, but she wasn't like... Whoa! Amazing. She was great. She's Meryl Streep, of course. She's always going to be great. Cinematography, Birdman, The Grand Budapest Hotel, uh, Ida, which uh, I heard was really good, Mr. Turner, which I heard was really good, and Unbroken, which actually had really good cinematography. So, uh, For me, I think they're going to pick Grand Budapest Hotel. If not, then Birdman. That's the, that's my guesses. Uh, oh! Uh they they uh, snubbed Interstellar. Interstellar had amazing cinematography. That sucks. And I, I I know Ida and Mr. Turner has amazing cinematography. Probably I'm assuming. You know, <laughs> obviously they're on the list. But in, in Interstellar, even though you might not like the film, it has two things that really are amazing. Actually, three things: the special effects, the the score in the film, and of course the cinematography. Hopefully it gets nominated for those other two. Cost uh, me like I already told I already told you what I think is going to be on there uh, and that's going to win. Uh, costume design: The Grand Budapest Hotel, Inherent Vice, <clears throat> uh, Into Into the Woods again, Maleficent, and Mr. Turner. Okay. Uh, costume design. I feel like something else got uh, snubbed, but uh, you know what? I I've seen. Inherent Vice's costumes, and they're pretty Oscar, not Oscar worthy, but it's more like, it's what the Oscars really likes, is like, you know, like suits and stuff, at least that's what I've seen, maybe maybe not, I don't know, I've only seen a trailer, and I've only seen like a couple of characters with clothes on, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Grand Budapest Hotel, you know, what? I'm gonna say Grand Budapest Hotel, I think uh, Grand Budapest Hotel is going to be the big winner this year. It's going to be the Le Miserable of this year where it wins the most awards but doesn't win Best Picture, I think. But uh not saying it's as good as, you know, Le Miserable. Uh, not, say not saying it's it's worse. I'm saying Grand Budapest Hotel is commonly known as better. <laughs> but whatever. I, I love Grand Budapest Hotel. I really want to see it again. It's really good. Uh, and I should have bought on Blu-ray. I don't know why I didn't. I could, I could still buy on Blu-ray, but it's old now. I'll just wait, I'll just wait until TV. But uh, I should probably get it. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna say Grand Budapest Hotel. Directing Alejandro Gonzalez Anaritu for Birdman. Richard Linklater for Boyhood. Bennett Miller for Foxcatcher. Wes Anderson for the Grand Budapest Hotel. And Martin Tildium for the Imitation Game. Now, this is the thing: when they do Best Picture nominees, I don't even look at the other nominees when they put these five for directing. That means these five are the real ones that the Oscar boardsmen, the chairmen, and whatever the people that select the awards. Those are the ones they're actually considering because they put it for directing. So that means Birdman, Boyhood, Foxcatcher, Grand Budapest Hotel, and The Imitation Game all have a chance to win Best Picture. And whatever the other four or five nominees are, Theory of Everything, Selma, if it's even nominated, which, by the way, that's a big snub right there, uh, and Theory of Everything, in my opinion. Um, whatever else is nominated, is you know, they're not going to win. They're not going to win now. That's what I think. Maybe, maybe someone could prove me wrong. Maybe... In the past, someone that wasn't nominated for directing can be, uh, actually, no, I think, uh, didn't Argo win? 
Or did that got no, I think that got nominated just didn't win. No, I think it actually didn't get nominated. Well, screw what I said then. Uh who I think is gonna win, uh who I want to win is Morton Tildrum. Because I love Imitation Game. But that's n- that's after not seeing Boyhood or Birdman. Who I think is going to win is is a t- kind of a tie. I think it's either going to be Richard Linklater or it's going to be Wes Anderson. Uh, but it might be Alejandro Gonzalez. But I'm going to say Richard Linklater as my main one. And then Wes Anderson a second. Alright, so next. I'm not looking at anything else here. I'm just looking at foreign language. You got Ida from Poland, Leviathan, which I, I think they pronounce it a little bit differently. I think they call it Leviathan, Leviathan from Russia, Tangerines for Estonia, Timbuktu from Mauritania. Hope I said that right. Wild Tales from Argentina. Uh, I've I've only heard of two of these. Actually, I've heard of Tangerines. I saw that on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, I don't know. I, I heard a lot of good things about Levi- Leviathan and uh, Ida, so it's either one of those. I'm going to say Leviathan. There you go. Makeup and hairstyling. Oh, wow, this is actually surprising. You got Foxcatcher, which had some good both, especially makeup with, uh, with uh, what's his name, uh, Steve Carell. Um, the Grand Budapest Hotel, that's a good choice. And Guardians of the Galaxy. Wow, okay, so Guardians of the Galaxy, besides visual effects, is nominated for an award. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think Foxcatcher is going to win because I think, you know, just the Steve Carell makeup was impressive. Like, I mean, he still looked like Steve Carell, but he looked different enough to make him seem like a, a different person. I mean, he still looked like him, but he was different enough, I guess, if that makes sense. But, uh, yeah, if not, then Grand Budapest Hotel. I don't think Guardians of the Galaxy is going to get it. If it does, then Oscar-winning movie Guardians of the Galaxy would be freaking awesome. Because I love Guardians of the Galaxy. Everybody does. Yeah. Well, almost everybody. You know, a couple of people that don't. <clears throat> they like it, but they don't love it. Um, original score, you got the Grand Budapest Hotel. You got the Imitation Game. You got Interstellar, so there you go. You got Mr. Turner, and you got the Theory of Everything, which the Theory of Everything actually won at the Golden Globes. Uh, I personally want Interstellar to win, but I think it's either going to be the Theory of Everything or Grand Budapest Hotel. They both have really good scores. But I'm going to say Theory of Everything, seeing that one at Golden Globes, but not all the time is that the case, really. Okay, so, okay. Whew, all right, so we did original score. Adapted screenplay, this is a screenplay adapted from, like, books or other screenplays or, you know, Broadway hit shows or whatever. It's not original, like the next category. All right, adapted screenplay, you got American Sniper, based on the book. Imitation Game, based on, I guess, the book of the true story. Which actually, so far, these are all true stories. Inherent Vice, which isn't a true story, but it's a book. The Theory of Everything, of course, about Stephen Hawking's. And Whiplash, I actually didn't know that was a book or whatever. You know, Maybe it was originally a screenplay that got turned into another one. I don't know. But uh, me, I think... It's weird that they didn't put Grand Budapest Hotel here, because I thought that would for sure win. But, uh, ooh. I personally really want Imitation Game to win, because there's a lot of really good... Really, really good dialogue and great. Uh, it's a it's a great screenplay. It really is. But uh, sorry, I got some of my probably friggin' was that sandy stuff that you get in your eyes when you're uh, the crust in your eyes when when you just wake up because uh, you had your eyes closed for like eight hours. Um, but anyway, I want Imitation Game to win. But I think if anything's gonna win here, I think it's either gonna be Whiplash. Yeah, I'm going to say Whiplash. Let's just leave it off there. I, I, I think Whiplash is going to win this one. Whiplash might take home a couple of awards. It's not going to get completely snubbed. Oh, wow, we're already at the end. All right, original screenplay got... Wait, hold on, where's visual effects? No, this can't be the complete list. No. They had a five Oscar snubs and surprises. Okay, I don't think I got the full list here. But anyway, original screenplay. You got Birdman, Boyhood, Foxcatcher, The Grand Budapest Hotel, and finally we got Nightcrawler. That's another freaking snub, man. Jake Gyllenhaal for... Wait, hold on. Is it? Yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal for Nightcrawler. What the freak? But anyway. Uh, that sucks. But anyway. Whew, best original screenplay. I think Grand Budapest Hotel is going to win this one because I'm, 
I, I said, why wasn't it on Adapted? It wasn't Adapted, of course. For some reason, I thought it was a book, but it's not. Uh, which is weird. We had the Foxcatcher's original. No one ever made a book about that? I'm surprised. Uh, so, yeah, you know what? I'm going to say Grand Budapest Hotel here. Um, so, Best Picture. Ooh, okay, you got American Sniper, Birdman, Boy... There's only eight here this time? What the frig, man? Okay. So, they're just dwindling down. So I guess we're going back to like five, maybe. American Sniper, Birdman, Boyhood, The Grand Budapest Hotel, The Imitation Game, Selma, The Theory of Everything, and Whiplash. Okay, first of all, I know there's something here that's so obviously a snub. Where is it? I'm trying to pinpoint it. Because there's something they've been talking about the entire freaking time here. What is it? I know it's something. Foxcatcher? It is! It's Foxcatcher! They put Foxcatcher for director, but not for best picture. What the hell? I've seen Foxcatcher like eight times so far. Why the f... That was a good-ass movie. Why? Alright, uh, let's see. if there, Is there any other snubs? Uh, take Wild. I heard that was really good, but... I was expecting it to go on best picture nominees. You know what? I need to see this. Five Oscar snubs. Hopefully you followed me. Yes, you did. Okay. All right. All right. Angelina Jolie for what? Uh, Birdman Grand Budapest tied with the most nominations at nine. The Imitation Game received eight. Boyhood, which had a strong showing at... Uh-oh. Let me turn this down. Strong showing at Sunday's Golden Globes. Was also showered with honors, including Best Picture. In all, Academy of Voters selected eight Best Picture nominees. Complete list of nominees. So this is going back to this, yeah. So that is it. They're not doing best visuals. What the fuck, man? In this time of... In this year, in this time of age, you're not gonna do best visuals, okay? Yeah, Oya Loa out, Cooper in. Which, that sucks, but, uh... To be honest, like, how about Jake Gyllenhaal, too? Like, he was really good. Like, I think he was just as good as David Oya Loa. Loa. To be fair, David probably had a harder time because he had to replicate a real person where Jake could have just been brrr, nutty as much as he wanted to be, even though he really wasn't like that. Angelina Jolie shut out, of course. It has that snub. The movie was okay. That's not. It's not a snub. No, you know what's a snub? No, what's what's the director of uh, Selma? Who who's she? She got snubbed. She's not even on the freaking director's list. Friggin' Foxcatcher is not even on Best Picture, and it's on Best Friggin' Direction. Alright. Wes Anderson is grand. Perhaps it's uh, uh, Birdman for most... How's that snub? Every... Oh! Yeah! Everything is... What the hell? Where's, where's animated... Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Where's Best Animated Film? Oh, there's a page two. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. But why would it end page one with best picture? Anyway, all right, here we go. Wow, no Lego movie. Are you high? It was the highest rated, one of the highest rated movies of last year. And you're not going to put it there. You're going to put freaking Song of the Sea, which I heard was was good, to be fair. Taylor Princess Kogi, uh, I heard that was good too. Oh, all these are good, but Box Trolls? Really? Box Trolls. That man, it has like a 70 on Rotten Tomatoes. That's okay. That's good. I like the movie too. I didn't review it, but I liked it. Okay, for me, I think How to Train Your Dragon 2 is going to win. It won Golden Globe. It's probably going to win this year. Uh, documentary feature Citizen 4, Finding Vivian Mayer. Wait, hold on. Let me make sure. Uh, yeah, okay. We're still good. Uh, Last Days in Vietnam. The Salt of the Earth. Earth? Sorry, I can't talk. Uh, Varunga? I've only heard of, uh... I've only heard of Citizen 4 and Last Days in Vietnam. I'm gonna say Citizen 4, because I heard it was really good. It's about, what's his name, uh... I think it's about Edward Snowden, I think. So, documentary short subject. You got Crisis Hotline, Veterans Press 1. Joanna, that's it. Our course, our course, our curse... The Reaper, Lepaka, and White Earth. I have actually heard of none of these. So, I uh, can't really predict. I'm going to say, uh, just point at one. 
White Earth. So there you go. White Earth is going to win. Film editing, American Sniper, Boyhood, The Grand Budapest Hotel, The Imitation Game, and Whiplash. Okay. Which one had best editing? I've seen all of these except almost all of them. <laughs> American Sniper I will be seeing tomorrow because it actually comes out so I can see it. Um, from the two movies I've seen, Grand Budapest and Imitation Game, I think Grand Budapest had better editing because it had more like like snappy, like snappier things happening. It was more like not action packed, but it was more wild. It was go it was like more just like things were happening a lot. So there was more like editing, so you could like I don't know, like to me, editing should be amazing and stuff where a lot of stuff is happening, a lot of quick stuff. Or, don't edit anything, just have one long camera shot, that's awesome too, but I know that's really hard, so you have to do editing sometimes, especially for like, the mountain scene when they're like, going down the mountain in the Grand Budapest Hotel, I mean, all, obviously that was, you know, green screen, but still, um, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna go with Grand Budapest, original song, oh, okay, so, Everything is Awesome is on here, the Lego movie, you got Glory for Selma, which is probably gonna win, Grateful, Beyond the Lights, okay. I actually forgot that movie came out. I'm Not Gonna Miss You, Glenn Campbell, I'll Be Me. What? Lost Stars, Begin Again. Okay. Confused, but I hope Everything is Awesome wins, but it's gonna be Glory, which was a really good song. I stayed after the credits just to listen to it. It, it was a really good song. But uh, I hope Everything is Awesome wins. That would be cool. Produ uh, bleh, production design. Jesus, I'm getting all stuffed up. <laughs> okay. Production design. You got Grand Budapest Hotel, The Imitation Game, Interstellar, Into the Woods, and Mr. Turner. Production design. Pretty much everything else besides the costumes. <laughs> it's the costumes for the set, pretty much. In a way. Uh, Grand Budapest Hotel looked really good. Uh, but... They don't always go for like, ooh, like, oh, look how colorful and nice it looks. Sometimes they go for just realism, like how good it looked back in that time period. So, Imitation Game has a chance, but also they do like the ooh and wow, so maybe Into the Woods. Interstellar had a lot of very sleek designs, because they were obviously on a spaceship most of the time. Ooh, I uh, Mr. Turner I've never seen, but uh, I've seen four of these movies. Mr. Turner, I do want to see, but again, they don't show freaking movies like this at my theater, so. Uh, I'm going to say Grand Budapest Hotel. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh. Alright, animated short film. The Bigger Picture? The Dam Keeper? Feast. Me and My Molten? And A Single Life. Uh, the only one I've seen was Feast. Was That was the one before Big Hero 6, where the dog eats all the stuff, and... You know, his owner breaks up with his girlfriend and all that. Uh, that was actually a really good, really, really good uh, short animated film. And that's probably going to win because that's the only one I've heard of and the only one I saw. Uh, so that's probably going to win. And it should. It was great. Live action short film, Aya, Bug Boogaloo, and Graham. <laughs> forgot, almost forgot Graham. Uh, Butter Lamp. All right. Par Parvani. The Phone Call. Oh. That, that one sounds threatening. Uh, I don't know. I've never heard of any of these, actually. I like Butterlamp. I'm going to say Butterlamp. <laughs> Sound editing. I got American Sniper, Birdman, The Hobbit T. They put an extra T in there. The Battle of the Five Armies, which is surprising. But I agree. Uh, Inter and Interstellar, which actually, you know what? I'm going to say Interstellar because uh, I really want that to win. But uh, I have a feeling they really like guns. You know, when things, you know, get shot and stuff. Like last year, Lone Survivor won. So I'm going to say maybe Birdman. But, uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm going to say probably American Sniper. But me, I want uh, Interstellar to win. Or Hobbit. That would be cool. But anyway. Uh, but, yeah, I think American Sniper's going to win. Sound mixing. You got American Sniper, Birdman, Interstellar, Unbroken, and Whiplash. Okay. Sound mixing is a little bit different. Uh, I still don't really completely understand the difference. But, uh. I'm going to say American Sniper again, seeing that Lone Survivor won last year, too. Uh, yeah. They're both very similar films, if you think about it. It's about it. I mean, it's a war film based on a true story coming out in January, and they're both going to be nominated and probably win the same award. That's the only 
same thing about it. <laughs> Alright, and now the last award, visual effects. You got Captain America the Winter Soldier, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, Guardians of the Galaxy, Interstellar, and X-Men Days of Future Past. Okay, so pretty much all comic book films and then a couple sci-fi films. Uh, which I guess all of them could be considered sci-fi or fantasy. Um, wow, that's a hard one, actually. Those are all great. All right, I'm going to kick out Captain America because a lot of their special effects have to do with, like, I don't know, like, just comic book shit. I love that movie, but... There is a lot of just like, yeah, I mean, they're good special effects. Nothing amazing. Don't want to play the apes. I'm going to, I'm going to say is I hope is going to win because I thought just the, the apes look so real. And there were so many at a time. Like that shot where they're all in front of the, like the, the human hangout. And there's like 120, like 200, 300. And they all like are all detailed and stuff. And they all look different too, which is really cool. I'm going to say Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Even though I love Guardians of the Galaxy, that looked really good, very pleasant on the eyes. And Interstellar had some really awesome visuals. And X-Men Days of Future Past looked nice too. I'm going to go with Dawn of the Planet of the Apes myself, but I think they might actually give this to Interstellar because they really like space, obviously. Uh, as the past would tell us. Uh, so, I think that's it. Yeah, so we got some major snubs. Especially for animated feature. That's the one that pisses me off. Because the Lego movie is probably my favorite. Like probably my favorite like comedy of last year. I, that's like no doubt about it actually. Even though there's some good comedies last year. And it's one of my favorite films. So it should definitely have been nominated. And I think it was a, a huge snub. And a big just like F you to the Lego franchise I think. Uh, and you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if freaking the next one is just like. You know what? We got snubbed. Fuck them. Let's just make a crap-ass movie. You know what? Who cares? Nah, they, they wouldn't do that. But still. Uh, yeah. Let's go back to the Oscar snubs. Anything else? No? That's it. That's not a snub. Angelina Jolie is not a snub. Alright, that's that's the right thing to do. Alright, but anyway. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's it. That was the Oscars. How long have I been going for? 27 minutes. There you go. That's my opinion of the Oscars uh, nominations. The Oscars... When do they... When are they? When are they? Maybe they say here. Uh, February 22nd at the Dolby Theater at the Hollywood and Highland Center. And broadcast live on ABC at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. Neil Patrick Harris will host. Shut the hell up. No one cares what you did. So anyway, um, yeah. There you go. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm looking forward to the Oscars. And it was... Uh, it was truly a historic morning for Robert Duvall, who at 84 became the oldest actor to get an Oscar nod. That's good for him. But anyway, there you go. Uh, that was the Oscar nominees. I'm still tired, so I'm going to try to wake up. So anyway, there you go. Uh, a very snubby year this year. But, uh, yeah, some some good picks. Some surprising ones. So, still looking forward to the show. Yeah. I always do, and I will be live streaming it. So make sure to follow my Twitch.tv account, Gore the Movie God. It's pretty simple. Twitch.tv slash Gore the Movie God. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Thank you and goodbye.